Right. So when I first came across the SDGs, I was working at Under Armour and I was in their sustainability department and we were having a or I was having a lot of issues defining sustainability. Um, so whether was it blue sign, was it fair trade, was it picking a recycled fabric? What did that mean and look like? And being the point person and the conduit um, to people's questions, I would get so many different definitions of what sustainability meant to them. And so that really made me think, um, you know, my definition had been human rights and social, but it was clear there was other definitions. And so I had um, a super fortunate, one of my mom's best friends sent me a video uh, that basically was a 20 minute overview when the SDGs were uh, published. And she said, I know you struggle a lot trying to understand this, so I think you should check this out. And as soon as I watched it, it completely made sense to me and I connected with it because I felt like it was this holistic perspective and quantitatively driven and globally ratified. So those um, being in this global industry, I felt like we were inclusively thinking about the planet and not just perhaps our country or our brand. Um, we were also using numbers, which I think sustainability can so often be this very emotional or, um, you know, even sometimes feminine tree hugging type of feel. And instead it broke it down in a way, um, especially in business, that it could be equated to the same way you would run your sales numbers. Um, so I love that. And then also that it included social and environmental and um, it was based off of what were the actual issues um, globally. So those were all the reasons that I was really attracted to them. And then I immediately embraced them and um, wanted to always align my work and the organizations that I've worked um, at their impact to the, those goals.